already welcome okay maybe not i was gonna say welcome back but technically if we're getting real technical up in here yeah it wouldn't be a welcome back no because as a lot of you know at the end of last episode if you didn't catch it you should go ahead and watch it uh we had a little bit of trouble uh we blacked out something happened the world decided to just end itself it ended itself it just collapsed imploded into nothing um and that was that i couldn't get back on the world it was done it was finished there's nothing I could do. So I had to jump in to a fresh new world. And it didn't take me a whole lot of time to get back to where we were at, sort of. We've only got one team. <laughs> I went and got us another poison quest, which was actually easier than the first time around. In fact, it was a lot easier than I expected it to be, to be honest. We've collected a bunch of uh, weaponry and armors along the way, which has been really, really nice. Um, and oddly enough, I was fluttering around the world a little bit today. Um, and I can't find a single like genome spire a single bit of element of, of what are they called corruption there's there's no corruption in our world it's kind of weird the weird thing is the weirdest thing is the mod is installed because we still got the structures we just don't have the i don't know i don't know maybe maybe deleting the world and restarting it fixed all of our problems and now we've got no corruption oh and on a quick little side note guys today is the final day of my merch sale if you want to save yourselves 20 percent off any of my merch items then head over to my teespring today make sure you use the code miola when you're checking out of the store um, and save yourself 20 percent off thanks to each and every one of you guys who have supported me by buying an item of my merch it means the world to me and um i hope to release more through the future hopefully a little bit cheaper i didn't realize how much teespring marks up items uh, it, it ended up being a lot more expensive than i intended for it to be but uh thanks for all of the support guys i really appreciate it uh i have been a little bit busy though i've been i've been dabbling with some base building as i've told you guys in the past i'm going for a real big build this series i i want to try and i don't know i feel like we're going to exceed what we did last time the thing is i don't know how we're going to do that but i built these little things here i had a little dabble with some foundations and ceilings trying to get like a nice grand old archway that we can like set up in the middle down here uh to stop all the wild dinosaurs coming in uh i don't know how we're going to go about it but i mean we'll just we'll just see how things oh no oh you got to be kidding me they followed me tell me you haven't followed me tell me i'm seeing things right oh come on Ah, oh, it's the Dominus Ovis. He's followed us all this way. You gotta be kidding me. Ooh. Poison out. Nah, it's weak. Um, Dominus Ovis. This is all because of you, buddy. I feel like you're the one who's like caused all my troubles. It all started with you. And now you follow me into my new base, huh? Now you follow me all the way up here. Ah, well, it is what it is. Uh, upon. Oh, I. Well, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Oh, snap. We just had this giant Puma spawning inside of our base. Okay, well, I guess the, uh, I guess, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you want some of this, do you, little, oh, man. We have a massive infestation. Okay, this isn't ideal. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look at all the little Reaper babies. <laughs> man, are you kidding me? I can't even, I can't even stop a tumor from spawning inside of my base. How much health have these little guys got? I gotta find that out. Hold on, hold on. All right, they got 10,000 health. I might be better off like beating these guys with my own two hands, to be honest, but uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the tumor more than anything. That, oh, look at all of the babies this thing is spewing out. Um, I don't even know what to do. Let's just, let's just put you back for now, okay? My, I just saw something. Wait, what? Wait, what is happening right now? There's another one! Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, wait. Where's all my damage? I'm dealing... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Maybe this one. Yeah, okay. That's a bit better. Alrighty. Alright, you want somebody to do you, you little reaper babies? Bring it on! They've got too much health for me. Oh, dude. They're just infestating everything. Well, wait. Oh no, the tumor's still there. I'm, I was going crazy. Can I can I destroy it? Yeah. What now? Yeah. What now? <laughs> it's not enough though. It's not enough. All right. Okay. Originally, I was gonna say we gotta go and uh, we gotta go and tame up like a, a Dodecurus or an Ankylo so we can collect the resources to like get this base well and truly going. I mean, I still think that. I still stand by that statement. 
Uh, what's concerning me now, though, is these guys need to be destroyed. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Here we go. All right, we can use our sort of. We can use our so hatchet sort of. It deals a little bit more damage than our pike and stuff. What I'm also thinking is, though, these guys give a lot of resources. Like a lot of stone. Who needs a data curious when you can just hack these little guys up, right? Oh my gosh. But how are we going to stop them from spawning is my, like, concern. Especially now that we've got two tumors up in here. All right, I'm just going to take, take advantage of these, like, materials while I can. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, yep. Okay, we got a big boy. We got a big boy. Okay, I don't... Wait, so he got 30,000 health. Do you think I can take it down with my hands? Is it tameable? It's not tameable. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. This is getting out of control really quickly. I don't know. Please don't. I don't know how much damage he's got. Yeah, okay. He's got. He's too strong for me. Uh, okay. Quetzal, dude. We need backup. I need I need a carnivore. I need a dinosaur that can defend us. But I'm kind of... Oh, dude. I need to, I need to get up. Oh, I got to get off the ground. I got to get out of here. This, this is too much. You know what? You want some of this? Let's go. I don't care if my armor breaks. I'm in here for those. all I've got. I've got no backup anything right now. Let's go. Come on, Questor, dude. Help me out. Help me out. <laughs> this is so stupid. I just wanted to... I just wanted to have a peaceful day with like... No, oh, there goes the leggings. There goes the neighborhood. All righty, buddy. Um... I'm going to need some assistance. My dude, get over here. Get over here. Oh, no, missed him. I missed him. I missed him. There. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, just, just, just sit tight. Just sit down and relax. There he goes. There he goes. Stop, 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 stop. Good, 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 good. Okay. 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 Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Fine. That's not how we're going to do this. Let's hit him with some lightning beams then. I might need to just like lead him off the base or something. I don't know. You know what? This is getting it done. Sort of. <laughs> We've got him under half health at least. <laughs> but I am not settling as long as I've got a giant reaper baby terrorizing my base. I don't think we're dealing much damage at all. Uh, oh, no, we are. We are. He's down below 5,000 health. That's what you get, you pile of trash. That's what you get. Yeah. What now? What you gonna do about that, huh? Nice. Very, very nice. I mean, I think I was damaging my foundation more than anything. Or maybe he was damaging my foundation. I don't know. Why am I still hearing quiet music? I thought we dealt with the, uh... thought we dealt with the, uh, infestation. Anyways. Good resources. That's the main thing here, right? That's what matters. Now I'm too heavy. But it's all good, because we still got our builder's helmets. Alrighty. Well, I think we've taken care of everything for now at least for now i use that term like very specifically i'm a little bit concerned about this though because we've got another tumor that's just like popped up in our bait what did we get an enhanced offspring genome key a genetic key to mysteries that un that until now have laid hidden i think we can actually use that to get our own genetic weird dinosaurs all right well at least we've taken care of one of them i don't know what's going to happen with this one we'll have to wait and see when we come back home uh, oh all right all right yeah okay Oh, well, I guess the corruption's back. <laughs> I guess that's still a thing. Let's continue, though. So what I was hoping to achieve, what I wanted to do was get like an Ankylo, a Dodecurus, and all of that stuff, just so we can have a bit more resource collection. What I'm suddenly realizing, very, very quickly learning, is we might need something with a little more, a little bit more power, a little bit more, I don't know. We need like a damage dealer. We need a carnivore. We need someone who can defend the bait. What, what in the world? Behemoth Quetzal's out here? Yo. And an eternal alpha phoenix? Oh, actually, I should be able to knock out eternal alphas, right? Also, is that a, that's, a, that's, ooh, an elemental fire camel griffin. Griffin, fire griffin. That's what I'm looking at. If we could get ourselves, man, if we had that electric griffin, I kind of don't want to deal with no griffins and, oh my gosh. I kind of don't want to be dealing with no griffins anymore. I'm a little bit, I don't know. I'm, I'm still adjusting. I'm still adapting to the fact that I think our world was ended 
by the griffin that did not want to be tamed and then fell underwater and destroyed our world. I, I, I think that's all I can really bring it down to because for some reason, our world was dying every time. Every time I got what well, like it started loading in a water area of the map. So I can only assume that that's what the problem was. Um, we're going to head over to this island up here. No, no, not this one. This one. This one here is the one with the anklos on it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if we do want to get us an anklo, I think this is the place to go looking for them. But on top of that, we should be able to find some other stuff as well. Hopefully some... Okay, okay. Like a supply drop. That's what we need right now. In a, in, in a, in a time when we're very, very... Uh, unlucky. I don't know. We're lacking in just about everything. This, this is what we want to be finding. So what have we got inside? Show me the money. Blueprints. Blueprints. You're going to give me blueprints. All right, fine. I guess, uh, one step at a time, I guess. It's the way it goes. What do we got over here, though? We got a, ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This could come in handy. A big old poison T-Rex. Hmm. I thought I saw something else. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a lightning pegasus? I think it is. Elemental Lightning Pegasus. Dude, so many of you guys telling me I didn't actually have to knock out the Pegasus and I could have just passive tamed it. Yeah, you have a point. Is this T-Rex creeping on me? This T-Rex, he creeping on me. All right, dude. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get me a Pegasus, all right? Just, just, just bugger off for three seconds, okay? Okay, so what you telling me? Wait, why aren't I? I thought this sickle picks up everything. It did when I was using it to clear out the base. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just the wrong type of bush, I guess. Uh, eternal berries. <laughs> oh, no. That's a prime wyvern. Oh, come on, dude. No, no, no. I was... What just happened? Did he just summon in... No, there's an ice argy over there. Oh, uh, well, there goes that idea, I guess. <laughs> I think we should get out of here before we get ourselves into even more trouble. That wyvern... He's an aggressive fella. He's going to find his way over here in a matter of seconds. Alrighty. Oh, it's Giga City down here. Okay. Maybe this is not <laughs> this is not a good place for us right now. Let's keep on moving. We'll find something. Don't you worry. Oh, dragons. No, I don't want to find them. I don't want to find no dragons. That's, that's not quite what I'm looking for, I'm afraid. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Cool, Laroonies. Okay. Alright. Maybe we'll just chill down here for a second, eh? A lot of horses in this map, aren't there? Uh, this guy here, just a regular Equus. Prime Equus. Uh, it's passive tame. Passive tame. What else do we got out here, yo? What's that? Oh, one of those dudes. Yeah, okay. We don't want to be messing with that. Alrighty. Well, nothing out here looks very friendly. We could settle for a Spino, but I'd rather like an, ele like an I don't know, an ele elemental, I suppose, an eternal maybe? An eternal spider. We kind of had one very, very briefly yesterday, and then things kind of just didn't go our way. I think that's an alpha carcanos as well. All right, we can't be dealing with no alpha carcanoses. Um, eternal therizinosaur. Or what is attacking him right now? There's a raptor in there. It's one of those elemental radiokinetic ones, and it's getting knocked out. Something's dealing torpor. Okay. All right, hold on. We might. Be oh yes. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. You're just the guy I'm looking for. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll take. Oh, oh, he's oh, he busted my armor. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Come on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I don't know why he stopped attacking me, but I'll take it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah. Now we're talking. All right. I think we're actually safe for like a second as well as I look over at the Eternal Spino. Well, we've knocked out this guy, so that's a good start. I don't really have the meat that he needs, unfortunately, but... Or maybe we do. Maybe we don't. We ain't got nothing for him. Okay. Uh, what's the quickest thing I can get? Cooked prime meat. Not gonna get that. Maybe some raw prime meat. Who can give me some prime... Oh, wait, hold on. I know what can give us prime meat. We just gotta craft us... I need some thatch. Okay. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. We can do that. Okay. Where's my little hatchet? That's the one, right? That's the eternal hatchet. Okay. Okay. I want to switch around my inventory. It's, 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 it's bugging me. All right. Trudon. Come on, Trudon. Come on, buddy. I don't like you. You don't like me. Let's just get this out the way. 
And then we can. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no, we've got the whole pack on us now. All right. Leave me alone. I think that's all of them. I think we're good. Okay. 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 Where's my little hatchet? I don't know if you guys just saw what's in my inventory, but we might have found a solution to all of our, all of our troubles. Maybe. Wait, where's the, wait, oh, I can just harvest all of these guys over here. I think we're okay. Oh, these dialers aren't dead. That's fine. I'll take that prime meat anyways. What knocked all of these guys out? Does the radiokinetic raptor deal torpidity as well i don't i don't think it does Eternal, oh it might have been the therizinosaur who had a bunch of blood on him that'll come in real handy anyways we could have tamed up a raptor pack but that's all right we're, le we're at least leaving with the leader that'll be uh that'll be enough i suppose in saying that we're not actually leading with the le leaving with the leader just yet uh we still got a long ways to go we need 79 raw prime meats we should have that though yep we got more than that okay I also have no armor on, so let's go and chop that up, hey? We don't have a whole lot of options, but what we did get was this, an immortal crystal sword. This thing looks pretty tough, so I think we're going to use this instead of our pike for a bit. Um, I'm just going to leave our raptor for a second, because I've just spotted something over here. Elemental lightning griffin. Do we go for round two with an elemental lightning griffin? Oh, I've had a lot of people like... Oh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of tempted to grab the spino, to be honest. Who's stronger? Oh, it's just an aberrant. And then we got this guy. A lot of people were telling me I got to start building traps for these dinosaurs. I do plan to. I do know how to do these things. Um, I guess I've just been acting without thinking for a lot of this series so far. I feel like I've just been able to have been, I've been having to work on my feet. Um, we just haven't had a whole lot of opportunity to like sit back and actually think about what we're doing. Because things have just been getting out of control so darn quickly. It's just been, it's been utter chaos. I'm kind of tempted to try for this griffin though. I feel like, I feel like this would be a game changer. In, again, it's attacking an Equus as well. Isn't that, oh no, it was attacking a, a, a Kentrosaurus last time, wasn't it? I mean, this could be a good idea. It could also be a very bad idea. Also, what is with, wait, did I already have a bowler? I did. Didn't need to craft that anyways. Uh, we got, we got a stacked inventory right now. I don't even know what's going on in there. Alrighty. Um, he's getting too close to that water. Oh, no. 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 No! What are you doing? Stop that! Okay, no. He's not attacking my raptor. But he's he's going to fall asleep. He's going to fall asleep. He's going to fall asleep. Fall asleep. Good. Good. How much damage did he do to my buddy here? Too much, but not enough to get him killed. So that's good. We might actually get this done. This is something we tried to do so long ago and it never went our way. Well, we're finally doing it. Elemental lightning wyvern just there too, okay? All right, buddy. Let's get those last pieces of meat into you and we'll get you home. We'll try and get you home at least. I should harvest this dude while we're here as well. Where is my hatchet? There we go. There we are. All right, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Wait a second. I've got a buff. Mushroom brew. And oh, what? I think I've got. Oh, wait. This guy was still alive. I forgot about that. Eternal Ankylo. Wait a second. There's an Ankylo nearby. I've just looked at an Eternal. He's right there. <gasps> oh, okay. I don't know how we're going to get them both home, but. Oh, this guy needs a saddle. All right. Follow me. Oh, and a Megalania. Well, at least it's not a, like, super powerful one. Um, oh, he's going to attack me. No, he's not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that guy just come from? You can't just run up behind me like that, tribe dude. I didn't even... Where did he go? Did he die? I'm so confused right now. This feels so random. Anyways, I kind of want to knock this thing out. So I'm going to try my best. Um, we should have what it takes. I'm pretty sure that'll take care of most of it anyways, right? These bowlers are so overpowered. Uh, where's my thing? Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, ooh, he fights back. Even with the bowler. Yeah, there he goes. All righty. Nicely done. Okay. Well, eternal berries. Nope. That's not how we do it. Let's get five across in there. There we go. Now it's... Something's getting damaged. 
Who's fighting something? Someone's fighting something. I reckon it's the tribe, dude. Anyways, we got some new dinosaurs now. Yeah. Alrighty. Both of them need saddles, which is bad. This guy's not even following me. Why aren't you following me around, dude? What's up with that? What's up with that? I just tamed your booty. All right, we're going to have to get these guys home now. Um, If I could just land one of them. Yeah, there. You're the one who was making all that ruckus before, right? Dude, let me help you out, all right? Let me help you out. Let me help you out, okay? We good? All right. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay. Uh, He's into beer at the moment. Is he? I thought you were about to do that. What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. It's okay. We can be friends. We can be friends. Uh... No, I'm not helping you. You're hurting my dinosaur. Enough. Enough of that. This guy's vicious. Dude, you're going to make me do it. You're going to make me do it. You're going to make me... You're being very rude. You asked for it. That's what you get. Okay? That's what you get. You wanted it. You got it. Now we're enemies with another tribe. Fantastic. Okay. So, we're going to get our guys home. Uh, how are we going to do this? Um... All right, here's our option, okay? One. Actually, no. Wait, maybe? Um, okay, got an idea. It's a shame I don't have a saddle, but we can do this. <laughs> we can hopefully walk one of these guys or, like, lead one of them. Oh, he's too quick, though. There's no way this guy's going to behave. There's no way he's going to cooperate. And very lightly and casually stand on top of my Quetzal. If I had a saddle, it would be another story. Don't upset anybody, dude. Just take it easy. Follow distance lowest, okay? So as I slowly back up... No! No! Stop! 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 Uh, that might do it. That might do it. That might... That might very well do it. Okay. We just got to make sure we don't bump into anything. If we bump into anything, he's going to fall off uh, as I go and weave my way through some trees like an absolute genius. Okay, let's avoid all of that. Let's try and pick up our other buddy. That's the wrong button. Let's try that a second time. And we may just get home with our whole little dino squad here. There we go. <laughs> yes, we're doing it, baby. We're doing it. And I reckon I'm going to fly really, really high because I swear everywhere I look, You've either got dragons, you've got wyverns, or just about anything else that wants to kill us. Okay. There we go. There we go. An eternal ankylo. And a radiokinetic raptor. I still don't know what that is, but it looks like, well, yeah, they give you radiation stuff. I don't know if we've got any radiation caves on this map. I don't know, I don't know if that'll come in handy at all. But uh, it's cool. I mean, it gives you like the mushroom brew effect. So that's that's interesting. Let's get them some saddles. I've heard, I don't know if it's the eternal ankylo that I'm thinking of, but I know that there's an ankylo in one of these mods that actually a uh, acts as a furnace. And then I guess we're going to need a raptor saddle as well. Fire, poison, lightning. I, sh I don't know which one it's going to be. I'm just going to get a regular one. And we'll have to see if that's good enough. Uh, we've got so much junk on us right now though. So... I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll see how we go. But I just want to be ready this time for when this second, I don't know. I don't even know what they are. But whenever it starts popping out more Reaper babies, I want to be ready to take it down. Okay. Oh, it's too heavy. Too heavy with me on its back. Okay, that's a bad start. <laughs> All right. How about you, buddy? Let's get a saddle onto your back and see what you're capable of. Uh-huh. This one is the furnace one, I think. It looks like you can craft elements on it. You can craft eternal kibble on it. You can craft... That's pretty cool. It's a walking furnace. A walking, talking furnace. Uh, does it need fuel? I guess it might. How do you fuel it? Because it's it's there. It's just not... Okay. I don't know. We'll work it out at some point, though. Alrighty. Look how fast this guy is. It's beautiful. I think he's a bit of a, like a heavy hitter as well, to be honest. But... Let's put a level onto melee damage. Cool. Look how excited he is to be leveled up. Come on, buddy. Let me move. All right. So. Ooh. That hit back. Ooh, he didn't like to be bitten like that. Huh? Come on. You're just a rock. It doesn't like me. Well, unless there's something inside of it that attacks me. 
But how did I take damage? Interesting. Never seen anything like that before. Huh. What about with my new sword? That's that's not gonna do a thing either. Alright. I guess that pimple doesn't want to be popped just yet, unfortunately. Oh, actually. What I was interested in saying, I was I wanted to see if there was any more of those little little dudes. The ones that we killed. If there were some minions around for us to harvest, I'd like to try and harvest them with our um, ankle just to see if we get even more metal and stuff from them. All right, so... I've... Wait, what? Can these guys just not move? This is really weird. All right, is there something about this guy that I'm unaware of or something? I, I'm not seeing any information on him, but for some reason, he doesn't move. He doesn't follow you. He doesn't walk around. He doesn't carry you. I've gone ahead and, like, I've emptied my... Like, we, we never would have been too heavy for him in the first place. But he doesn't want to move. He can't jump. Oh, he can nibble. He can do that. He's happy to do that. He can jump. All right. Maybe that's how we... Oh, no. There we go. Wait, what? Okay. Well, maybe he can be ridden after all. You just got to kind of push him a little bit, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, we got a little tiny experience potion there. We can drop 15 levels out of that. That's all right. All righty. This guy might, he might have a little bit of hope yet. Okay. Let's put a bunch of levels into melee damage. And I guess we'll see what he's capable of. I'm hoping he can deal a couple thousand damage. Uh, does he have any cool attacks? No, I was thinking he might have like a poison attack, but unfortunately, I think it's just the pounce and a bite. All right. Oh, 5,000 damage. What? Okay. That's more than I expected. That's really, really good, actually. Oh, yes. Yes. Just the guys that was... Well, I didn't want to find them, but... Stuff it. Let's take these little guys down. More of them. Yeah, what now, you pieces of trash? What now? Okay. Kind of... I, I want to kill them, but I don't want to harvest them. I've, I've, I've stated why that's the case. I kind of want to get my Inkalo out here to try and harvest them. Okay. Uh, where's my Inkalo? Where's my Inkalo? Bad weather. Why must you hit us now? Come down, little guy. Follow me. Follow me. And you'll see a world of pure imagination. Okay, don't go harvesting stuff, please. I don't even think you can anyways. Where are you running? Chill. It's all good. All right. Let's see if we can use this guy to harvest babies. Well, minions. Oh, nope. That was a rock. I think I got a bit excited there over nothing. All right. How about the one he's harvesting? Um. Oh. Here's one. Well, you're not going to last very long, are you? Alright. Wait. Stop knocking them into the grass. I can't see if they give me stuff or not. Okay. Stone. I'm looking for metal. I'm looking for stone. I'm looking for flint. No, they don't give you nothing. They're like pretty much pointless. I think we're better off. Definitely better off harvesting these guys with our own two hands. That's for sure. But our raptor kind of decides to seek them out for us. So that's kind of nice. Where are you going? He's hunting down our little rock buddies, I guess. See, what I'm most curious about is knowing, I guess, how many of these little guys you got to kill. I'm guessing you got to kill all the babies. This sounds so bad saying that. I, I, uh, context. Context is everything, okay? If you're not watching this video and you're just listening to it, I'm not killing babies. I'm killing alien babies, okay? So that makes it okay. All right, something just attacked me. There's nothing there to attack me, though. These tumors, man. They're aggressive little things. So I guess what we're trying to do is kill the little aliens. And once you kill enough of them, the big mama comes out because she ain't happy with us. There's one. All right, I knew there'd be at least one more that we hadn't found yet. Judging by my my theory, at least. Okay, there we go. That's all of them. Where's the big mama? Yeah, hello. How you doing? Oh, bring it on. You got no... Oh, actually, my raptor's packing punches. Uh, yep, we're good. There we go. Oh, not quite, not quite. Yeah, that's the one. Nice. And then as a result, we get the offspring genome key, which I think comes in handy for something down the road. I think maybe it lets us have our own aliens or it lets us enhance our own dinosaurs. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But in good time, we will find out. And of course, now that we've taken down our little tumor... Oh, what is this little dude? 
That's oh, just a regular Dilo. He looks cool though. Now that we've taken down our Tuma, the rain decides to disappear. Oh well. Better late than never. All right, let's see if we can actually get this Ankylo in our base without it like running straight past us and like off a cliff. Okay, you know what? He's going to chill down there. That's fine. That's fine. You can you can stay down there if that's what you want to do. Okay, you just, just chill. Just chill, just chill. Something I'm kind of interested in though is what do we need to do to get level three of this stuff right here? Uh, the third step in the genome mod is the crafting station. I think we do need to collect a bunch. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I can put my little builder's helmet on there. That'll let me hold everything. We're going to need, a, whoa, 500 tendrils. 500 tendrils? That sounds like a lot. Why 500 tendrils? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. 500 tendrils. Yep, sure, sure enough. 500 tendrils and another 254 elements. And then we've got like a bunch of ingots in here already. Okay, well, if that's the case... Uh, we don't really need to use any more of these tendrils, right? Let's go and do this right now. Let's go and get the resources we need for the genome crafting station and find out what that allows us to do. At least we... Oh, do I need fuel? Maybe this guy needs fuel to, like, smelt stuff or... Or or does he need to be turned on? Maybe we just got to turn him on. Toggle smelting. There we go. Now we've got to... Wait. Oh, wait. Maybe you can't... Oh, no. You can ride him. You can do that. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, 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 okay. Can I harvest these big, big old fellas right here, though? Can we do that? And what do we get for it? Condensed gas, blue... Cr okay, I don't think we got what we're looking for. We, we got a lot of stuff, but... Okay, I think we got to do this by hand. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. This guy will give us what we're looking for, though, right? Yeah. Look at that. 452 corrupt element from a single one of those. This hatchet is amazing. And then tendrils, I think, was the other one we needed, right? I don't even know where I am right now, but that looks like what I'm looking for. All right, let's use my pickaxe. 203 tendrils. Wait, what is that? Is that a Kano? Oh, oh, we found... Okay, we got more little evil fellas down here. Does that mean there's another... Yeah, I don't feel like taking these guys down again. We've already taken two of their little homes down. I don't... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in taking a third one down just, just yet. Oh, another radio kinetic raptor. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. We are finding very similar dinosaurs to what we've tamed up. All right, just leave me alone. Oh, gosh. No, not an alpha raptor. Oh, 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 oh. That's that's nasty. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, I didn't see him sneak up on us. I thought I was running away from just a regular raptor. Thankfully, he ain't got a lot of health. But hopefully we get some nice loot drop out of him. Gosh, this is just, this is just getting a little ridiculous. Come on, dude, leave me alone. Well, looks like we got an experience potion, so that'll come in handy at least. Alrighty. So, let's see if we got what it takes. Did we collect everything that we need? Crafting station. Wait, what do you mean I can't? Am I still too? All right, let's just transfer our entire inventory. I got a lot of stuff on me right now, so that's understandable. I get it. Crafting station, check. We've got a baby. There it is. The corrupt crafting station. What's this going to let us craft? Oh, 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 snap. It's big. Oh, it's huge. Oh, this is, thing's enormous. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just place it down here. This is why we got to get a big base. Because if we're going to like conduct our genome experiments, we're going to need a lot of space for it. I also placed it the wrong way. Let's try that again, shall we? We got to have the little, I don't know. Actually, we can place it over here. Yeah, look at this. We got plenty of room. Bada bam, bada boom. There we go. Okay. All right. There's a the little console. Uh, okay. So we can craft the genome template. A blank template to assist in the genetic mapping of a dino variant. That's actually rather cheap. We've got what it takes. Turn on. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let me get this head up. Get rid of that. Okay. 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 Uh, wait a second. Do we have any data log? <gasps> we do. Let's read the data log real quick first, okay? Data log number four. Data recovery in progress. Personal log entry number four. Reports of creatures attacking the usual. We are on an arc after all. Up upon reaching the site, I found nothing new. More corrupt tendrils. Wait. This was different. It was infecting the creatures around it, mutating their genetic code. Incredible. The creatures were mutated, enhanced before my very eyes. What did you expect? Okay, okay, it was a little risky. 
a risk that was worth taking. Within my grasp, the heart of a tendril. The organic core driving the process behind these active mutations. Mine. I have begun construction on extracting its secrets. I will will the power. Endless power. Log recovery terminated. Error 404. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. 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 So, now we're getting somewhere. What can we actually craft up here? Fuel cell generator. We've already got one of those. Uh, the refinery. We've got one of the, those. Genome core extractor. We do not have one of those. I guess that's the next step. We've also got this that's going to spoil in 12 hours, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. Alrighty, now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to turn this off because it doesn't look like it's going to stay powered forever. Guys, we're done for today. It's been a big one. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I'm apologizing for like the 10th time in 10 episodes, but sorry for all of the mayhem. This just regarding having worlds that are actually working and just things going according to plan. It's been a weird one. I I've, I just, I didn't predict having this many issues, but uh, it is what it is. We're getting by. We're still going through it. If you just did enjoy this video though, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain. Those thumbs ups. Oh, and by the way, today is the final day of the 20% off merch sale. If you're interested in picking up any of that, at a 20% discount, then head over right now to my Teespring. Um, use the code MIOLA at checkout and you will save your 20%. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.